Welcome to Jethro's Garage. Hey, this is a tool that I purchased a little while back and I covered it in a short, but I think it deserves more than that. Um, I haven't had a whole lot of time to use it, but my initial thoughts on it were very positive. So we're going to take and give it my little screwdriver test here in just a second, but this is the Vessel 220W-3. Um, Y'all stay tuned, and after the break, we'll go over it. Y'all back? Okay, good. So, this is, I think they call these the ball driver or something like that. Pretty nice, and they're not too bad in your hands. Uh, have a good feel for them. This is a three, it comes with three bits. It's three P's, a P1, P2, P3, and three PZs. It's a PZ1, PZ2, and PZ3. And, oh, I'm sorry. I am telling y'all stories. It only comes with two PZs. The PZ2 and the PZ3. And then it comes with a flathead, a dash six. Um, these, these vessel screwdriver, screwdrivers are raved about. Seems everybody likes them. I'm gonna get this number two out and you know, go show you. It fits real well in the, uh, in the handle. Um, it looks like it's held on by, held in by a tensioning ring or something, but it's only on one side, maybe on two. It's, it's really hard to see. Maybe a magnet in there, I'm not sure, but it's like, not like a lot of them that we have that are, uh, that have the little slide ring that let it go, but it's in there. You, you know, you're not just going to pull it out. Um, we're fixing to try that here in just a second, but, uh, Nice screwdriver. Um, I don't know. Vessel makes some pretty good products. Uh, let's go over here and look at it. Okay, here's the number two. And a number two is drywall screw. It's, it's what I had. It's not the same exact thing I tried the tectons, the tectons out on. But uh, I have already tried this one time just to see how it did. And first of all, there you go. It's holding in there pretty good. Um, I know I've got the, the vise uh, back, lean back a little bit. So let me let it get it in a more straight up and down manner. And there we go. It's in there. So pretty decent fit. It's a little, just a little bit of um, wiggle room there. Let me look at these, uh, let me check this, uh, uh, what have I got? I don't know what I did with the Tecton. Maybe they're in my regular toolbox. I know I put them in there so I could use them on a regular basis. If I don't, if I don't put tools in my black snap-on box, um, they only get used on special occasions. So, so this fits, this Tecton fits a whole lot tighter than this, uh, than this does. Well... Yeah, there's visible movement, but there's also movement in this handle. And I'm trying to figure out where it's coming from. It's in the mount here. There's just a little bit of giving that mount. Let's get you up here a little closer so you can see. Come on in. 
Yeah, come on. Let me get you up here. So. Oh. That's as far as it'll let me go. Let me see if I can get you just a, a wee bit closer. I think that's going to be about as far as I dare. So maybe, maybe we can see this here. So first let's watch here. Okay. Well, Still just a tiny bit of movement. There we go. Now let's look at this one. I'm it's a minuscule amount between the two. There's definitely more movement. But this, uh, where the uh, screwdriver mounts, right here, let me get you right here moves a little bit. So let me try to. If you can see that a little bit. So it's moving. Still, I don't know that that means it's bad. It's just, it's just something I noticed just now. Let me back you up a little bit. We're gonna pull on this thing. We're gonna turn on it and pull on it. See that bullet vice down there? One of these days I'll do a restoration on that old boy. We'll talk about it. Let's get you in here, something like that. And we're gonna take and we're gonna turn on it and then pull it. You know that viral video about the uh, Milwaukee screwdrivers, which I still haven't bought, that I want to try out, and they're pulling the toolbox along. So I'm kind of simulating that, and I bought me a, bought me a set of scales that I'm gonna see if I can uh, measure the amount of pull force before the screwdriver lets go, but I haven't figured out how to attach everything yet. So I'm gonna turn on it. It certainly doesn't feel as good as the Tekken originally did. You can see how much it's pulling the table. I could almost measure the table. So this one, you know, I've already did this a few times. But the tips, the tips look pretty decent. Steel on this is the tectin. And here is the vessel. So not bad. Um let's let's take you back over here and we'll talk a little more about it. Okay, vessel. First things first, this little four piece kit I believe is like ten dollars so that's that's pretty good um vessel is known for having a uh high quality screwdrivers and uh they're made in Japan not a huge price especially for some imports like this um I like it I admit I haven't used it a whole lot and I need to. My actual goal was to give this to, to not give it, but to uh, have my brother use it for a few weeks and and he's gonna argue with me about this, but um, I said, take it. And he left it where it was at. Then two or three weeks after he says, what'd you do with my screwdriver? <laughs> so, Maybe I'll send it send it down to him and have him uh, 
put it through its paces, see if he likes it, and get his opinion on it. And after, you know, a month or two, I'll let y'all know how that come out. He does, uh, what does he do? He works for one of the big uh, rental places that rents out generators, big generators, big pumps, um, heating and cooling units, dehumidifiers, stuff like that. And this is large equipment. This isn't, you know, like me and you would use in our houses. This is for plants and stuff. And uh, he's a service guy, so he is he is constantly on the go. And he would put this through his paces and tell me whether it was junk or not. Hey, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me. Uh, hey, join back up and watch some of my other videos. I got some okay stuff. And if there's something you want to see, put it right there in the comments. And if I can cover it, doggone it, I will. Thank you, and y'all take care.